Are you ready to embark on a thrilling adventure? Buckle up because today we're soaring to new heights with our ultimate guide to surviving long-haul flights in economy class. Let's face it, economy flights can be a bit of a drag. Cramped seats, limited legroom, and crying babies can test even the most seasoned traveler's patience. But fear not, intrepid explorers. We're here to reveal battle-tested strategies to transform your long-haul flight into a stress-free odyssey. We'll tackle packing hacks for maximum comfort, conquer boredom with creative entertainment ideas, and master the art of staying healthy and hydrated in the air. So, ditch those travel anxieties and get ready to conquer the skies with our essential survival guide. Number 1. One of the most important things to remember for a long-haul flight is having a fanny pack. It's an essential that will help you breeze through airport security with ease. Plus, it offers extra space for all your packing needs. Not only does it keep you organized, but it also adds a touch of comfort to your journey. With a fanny pack, everything you need is just an arm's reach away, saving you from constantly getting up and struggling with overhead luggage. No more worries about your belongings falling on someone's head. Number 2. Now it's time to carefully select the size of your carry-on items. For instance, if you plan to bring along your laptop or iPad, make sure your item can easily fit below the seat in front of you. It may sound straightforward, but many airlines don't provide specific dimensions for their underseat storage. They state that it should fit beneath the seat, leaving you clueless about the required bag size. To play it safe, we suggest opting for a flexible backpack that is not stuffed to the brim. This way, even if the dimensions turn out to be slightly smaller, you can still squeeze it under the seats. Number 3. You'll also want to make wise choices when it comes to your food selection on the day of your flight. Avoid greasy, salty, fizzy drinks, alcohol, and caffeine as they can all make you feel bloated. Imagine being 30,000 feet in the air, where the cabin pressure changes make gases expand even more, causing double bloating that leaves you uncomfortable and annoying your neighbors with your farts. To steer clear of these issues, opt for lighter meals before boarding. Number 4. To add an extra level of protection, why not enjoy a cool glass of lemon water to stay hydrated? When it comes to long-haul flights, dehydration can lead to headaches and jet lag-like symptoms. And let's face it, headaches are the last thing you want when you're already tired and disoriented from traveling for 15 hours across 10 time zones. The dry air in planes can also suck the moisture out of your skin, so don't forget to bring some lightweight moisturizer and chapstick to stay refreshed and moisturized throughout your journey. Number 5. To make your trip more enjoyable and cost-effective, don't forget to pack some tasty snacks. This way, you won't have to rely solely on pricey airline food or spend money during layovers at the airport. Just a friendly tip. Remember that if you bring more than 100 milliliters of peanut butter, it's considered a liquid and won't pass through security. But no worries. A simple solution is to bring along a delicious peanut butter sandwich instead, and you'll breeze through security without any issues. Number 6. Let's discuss bathrooms. If you're savvy, you can cleverly plan your bathroom breaks to avoid long lines. Most other travelers tend to follow a certain pattern and visit the bathroom all at the same time. However, if you go against this trend, you'll save yourself from waiting in those never-ending queues. Not only that, but you'll also likely find a cleaner bathroom since fewer people will have used it. Remember, our bladders tend to be fuller about an hour or two after having a meal, so if you ensure to use the restroom before boarding a plane and as soon as you notice them serving food before your meal, you'll usually be able to outsmart the crowds. Number 7. To make your journey comfortable, the next step is to choose some casual and easy-to-wear outfits. It's not complicated at all. Just opt for cozy, stretchy, and loose clothing that doesn't require a belt. Additionally, layering your clothes is a smart move because you never know what the temperature will be like inside the aircraft. You definitely don't want to spend 13 hours shivering non-stop. Layering also helps you save space in your luggage, allowing you to pack more if needed. Number 8. Another practical tip is to wear slip-on shoes. They come in handy when you want to quickly slip them on and off during your flight, like when you need to use the restroom. However, please keep your shoes on if you have smelly feet. We appreciate it. Also, if you have varicose veins or a personal family history of blood clots, consider wearing compression socks for added comfort and safety. Number 9. A helpful suggestion is to carry a small adapter for the airplane's entertainment system. The earbuds provided by airlines for free are often of poor quality and easily break. 
To ensure a restful journey, consider downloading offline guided meditations or relaxing music that can be played through your headphones. This will help mask any noise from crying babies or loud kids playing video games on their iPads. Number 10. Be sure to bring along a neck pillow like the Turtle Travel Pillow because airplane seats aren't exactly known for providing great neck support, and this can lead to stiffness, pain, and even headaches. But with a neck pillow, you can maintain proper neck alignment and posture, ensuring a more comfortable journey. And let's not forget the importance of good sleep during those long-haul flights. Restful sleep becomes essential to combat fatigue and jet lag. With having a reliable neck pillow, falling asleep and staying asleep becomes a breeze. The benefits of a good neck pillow go beyond just sleeping. You can use it to prop up your head while reading a book, watching movies, or even looking on your laptop. It's an all-around versatile accessory that adds extra support and comfort to your travel experience. Number 11. Additionally, packing a blackout eye mask can be a smart idea as it may help reduce jet lag. It's important to note that you may not sleep throughout the entire flight, so bringing some of your own entertainment is also a good idea. If you are a reader and enjoy reading, you may want to bring one along with you as it will help you to pass the time on long journeys and avoid boredom. Number 12. Be sure to have all your electronics fully charged the night before your flight. While some planes have USB ports for charging, they tend to be quite slow, and you can only charge one device at a time. Imagine how frustrating it would be if you boarded the plane only to find your Kindle, phone, and headphones all with only 1% battery left, rendering them unusable for the entire flight. So, it's always better to be safe than sorry, and have everything juiced up beforehand. Number 13. To make your journey hassle-free, it's important to plan ahead and have internet connectivity upon reaching your destination. Ensure that you already have a data plan activated on your phone. This way, you can easily order an Uber, find your accommodation, or get in touch with anyone you need to reach. Keep in mind that not all airports offer reliable Wi-Fi, and not all of them sell physical SIM cards for purchase. Number 14. Let's talk about the importance of selecting your seat wisely. We all have our preferences when it comes to window or aisle seats, as it greatly affects our comfort during those long-haul flights. Here are a few things to consider. On the one hand, if you opt for an aisle seat, you might end up sitting next to someone with a small bladder who needs to use the bathroom frequently, potentially disrupting your sleep every hour. However, if you're a fan of aisle seats, you can increase your chances of a smoother flight by selecting an aisle seat in the middle section. This way, if you have a frequent bathroom goer next to you, they have two alternative paths to exit without disturbing you. Number 15. To minimize the effects of jet lag before your journey, it's a good idea to gradually align your sleep schedule with the one you'll be following at your destination. If you're traveling east, try going to bed an hour earlier and waking up an hour earlier each day before your flight. On the other hand, if you're heading west, start going to bed an hour later and waking up an hour later. By making these adjustments to your internal clock, you can significantly reduce the impact of jet lag. Number 16. Lastly, don't forget about the tips to stay fresh during your plane journey. Bring along essentials like a toothbrush, mouthwash, deodorant, and perhaps some baby wipes or any other refreshing items you may need during the flight. It's also a good idea to pack an extra outfit in your carry-on or personal bag, which you can switch into right before stepping off the aircraft. Having clean clothes not only boosts your mood, but also comes in handy if your checked bag happens to be delayed or lost. That is all fellow travel addicts. Now go ahead and embrace your next long-haul journey with confidence. Just keep in mind that with proper preparation and a positive mindset, you can effortlessly turn that cramped economy seat into your very own haven of comfort and excitement. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure to show your appreciation by giving it a like and subscribing for more amazing travel tips and tricks. Additionally, we'd love to hear your own incredible long-haul survival stories in the comments below, so don't hesitate to share. Until we meet again, have a fantastic time soaring the skies.